there's another urban legend, not actually an urban legend, but uh, everybody likes to talk about air gap. What's the air gap? What do I set my air gap to? Well, like we said before, on an OE type bearing, which is 97% of the time what we're going to supply with our kits, there's never an air gap because the bearing is sprung. It's always going to be resting on the fingers of the clutch. So again, we like to see about a half inch of preload, um, and that'll make sure that the clutch will work properly. Now there are some aftermarket bearings that are out there, which you can use with our clutches as well, but these do not have a spring at all. These are the bearings that you would have to set a quote unquote air gap. And what that is, is you wanna make sure that uh, when the bearing is fully compressed like this one, that there's actually a little bit of space between the bearing and the fingers of the clutch. And the first time you step on the pedal, the bearing's gonna move right up to those fingers. But leaving that gap, it's got room so that as the fingers grow, you can push the bearing back and it won't hold the clutch up. So, if you're using the bearing that comes in our kit, 97% of the time it's gonna be a sprung bearing, which means there's no air gap. If you're using a custom bearing or something else we've supplied that does not have the spring, then you'll need to set the air gap. But we'll provide instructions and you can always contact us via telephone, text, email, Facebook, Instagram, Carrier Pigeon, or snail mail, and we'll help you out.